Okay, next we're going to learn how to use your protractor to measure angles. Okay, for example, you have this angle here, two lines meeting at a point and you have an angle in center. This is angle B. Okay, now before I use my protractor to measure my angle, I'm going to write down zero over here for this line. Right, you will see why I wrote zero. I write zero here later. Now, two things you need to take note of when you put the protractor on your angle to measure. Number one, this black line here, this black line here must be on this red line. Okay, it's on the red line. Number two, this point here, this T point here, must be exactly at this meeting point here. This and this must meet. Okay, so number one, this line must be on this line. This point must be on this point. So two things, alright, let's try. Okay. Right now, my black line is on my red line. But you see that my points are not touching. So I'll adjust it. Okay, now it's correct. Okay, remember two things. This black line on the line of the angle and this point touching the meeting point of the angle. Now, after I place my protractor correctly, I can measure my angle. Okay, remember I told you to write zero just now. This means that my zero starts from here. And if zero starts from here, am I going to use the outer scale or the inner scale? Zero starts from here. Do I use the outer scale or the inner scale? Right, I use the outer scale because zero starts from on the left means I use the outer scale. Let's measure together. So zero, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. My angle is exactly at 50 degrees. All right? You don't have to look at the numbers on the inside because you only look at the numbers on the outer scale. So 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So my angle B is 50 degrees. This is how I write the degree sign. It's a little circle on top. This means 50 degrees. You, you measure angles using degrees. Okay, now let's look at another example of using the outer scale. This is my angle and I want to measure angle X. Alright, again I put 0 here. Okay. And I place my protractor. When I place my protractor on my angle, I must make sure that this black line is touching the red line and the points must meet exactly. Okay. So now my protractor is placed correctly. The black line on the line of the angle and the meeting point here. So it's all the way here. Where do I start? On the left or on the right? I start on the left because 0 is here. If 0 is here, I use the outer scale. Because outer scale 0 starts from here. Let's try. 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 125. Okay. This is 120, 121, 122, 123, 124, 125. The longer line are all in multiples of 5. Okay, so angle X is 125. So I write angle X equals 125 degrees okay now what happens if I want to use the angle on the inner scale I'm going to show you now okay here I have 
angle C that I want to measure. Okay, again I put zero here. Place my protractor. Make sure my points are touching. Okay, now zero is here, which means I do not use the outer scale because outer scale is 180, it's wrong. Zero is here, which means I use my inner scale. 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. Is it 80 or is it 100? Alright, it's not 100 because 100 is the outer scale. Remember, for this one, we use the inner scale. So 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. Alright, the inner scale shows 80. I told you that when you use the inner scale, you only look at numbers on the inner scale. You will ignore all the numbers on the outer scale. So this angle is 80 degrees. So angle C is 80 degrees. Alright. One last example. I have this angle Z here that I want to measure. Again, put zero. Okay, put your protractor on it. Alright. Let's measure together now. Zero is here, which means I use my inner scale. Zero, ten, twenty, thirty. So it's thirty something. How do we know we need to look at the lines here? Thirty, this long line is thirty. Thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four. Alright, it's not hundred and fifty. No, because I use the inner scale. Inner scale is thirty something right ignore the numbers on the outside you only look at the lines 30 31 32 33 34 okay so angle z is 34 degrees